Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 34 of the 100 day geography GCSE countdown. Today we are thinking about the coastal landforms at Swanage, so let's get going. Where is actually, where actually is Swanage? Swanage is a seaside town on the Dorset coast on the south of England. It is located in a sheltered bay and has a broad sandy beach. This is a stretch of coastline with many impressive landforms of coastal erosion and deposition. Different rock types and geological structure are important to the formation of this coastline. The rocks have been folded and tilted so that there are bands of different rock types at this coast. Headlands and bays form where there are alternative rock bands of more resistant and less resistant rocks. Did you know the coast around Swanage is part of what is known as the Jurassic Coast? This is the 154 kilometre stretch of coast in East Devon and Dorset, which was made a World Heritage Site in 2001 because of its geological importance. Jurassic is the name because of the rock, the geological period where the rocks on the coast were formed, 145 to 200 million years ago. This indented coastline is called a discordant coastline. On the south coast, there is one type of rock, limestone. This forms a relatively, relatively straight section of the coast and is called a concordant coastline. To the north of Swanage is Poole Harbour, one of the UK's largest natural harbours. A great deal of deposition has taken place in this large sheltered bay. You can see two spits at the mouth of the harbour, one on the south side and one on the north. At Studland there are two lagoons, salt marshes. At Studland there are lagoons, salt marshes and sand dunes and this area is well known for its wildlife. So we're going to briefly think about the question. Describe the coastal processes that are operating at Swanage. So in this, you can talk about the different kinds of coastlines. So you've got concordant, which is where it's all the same, and discordant, where it's different between hard and softer rock types. Um, you can also talk about um, the deposition that occurs in these bays. So the formation of sand dunes and salt marshes and lagoons and their geological importance. And you can also talk about um, the spits that are formed and how they're formed by longshore drift. Um, so this is a full mark question, so you don't need to do much more than that. Um, but I do hope this has been useful. Do subscribe below if it has, and I will see you tomorrow at 7am. Bye guys. <laughs>